this, and he was asking to speak with his sister. We do know this is an ongoing hostage situation the White House is monitoring as well. This has been elevated to a federal level. Um, as you watch this thing unfold, what are your biggest concerns? Well, my biggest concern, uh, hearing that it's at a synagogue, is that this is um, someone who's intent on um, committing hate crimes and an act of domestic terrorism. And it's not just uh, a random person who wandered into a synagogue. Now, we don't know that for certain, but we have seen an incredible rise uh, in rhetoric that is anti-Semitic being trafficked all around the country. And in the case of, of Michigan, that is why I established the first hate crimes and domestic terrorism unit anywhere in the state, one of the first in the country, because we were seeing an exponential rise in hate crimes and an exponential rise in the formation and the membership of these extremist organizations, many of which are white supremacy organizations, and they traffic uh, in hatred against Jews and other minorities. And so it's a, a considerable issue. When I took office, I met with the White House, and I told them that one of my biggest concerns about my state was these uh, escalating threats against these communities, uh, and especially the Jewish community in uh, in the state of Michigan and, frankly, all around the United States. So if it does turn out that that is the motivating factor here, it would hardly be a surprise. Uh, let me ask.